What's that? Hey, we've got a bit of a buzz going on over here, but it's not my vibrator. What the devil is going on? Aha! <sighs> stop! Stop! Oh, okay, don't stop. Somebody Ooh, forgot stop. to buy a new cable, that's what. <laughs> yes, we've been meaning to buy this cable for our mics for about seven or eight months. <laughs> Randy's like, you don't have to remind me every six months. That's right. Okay, I'm caught up now. Sorry. So I said in the chat room, I said, you'll be, I said, how is everyone tonight? You'll better say that you've got your dancing shoes on and your best dress on. Well, Stacey says she's going to wiggle in a chair. Brenda says she's got no shoes on. Thomas says there'll be six string dancing. Stacey's got her slippers on. Brenda's got bare feet on. Thomas has got bare feet. Thomas, put your bloody shoes back on, mate. Good <laughs> God almighty, lad. <laughs> Somebody can't... turn on the exhaust fan. The green fog's getting thick here. Stacey says it's nipply weather. I can't even get you lot to dress up in your best best apparel for the Yankee and the British show. Nipply weather? Who said that? <whistles> Stacey did. Hello, Mr. Dick or Dave. Yeah, Mr. Dave is in the chat room. He says, hello, Dick and Douche. I love the guy. I wonder what Dave is wearing today on his feet. I bet he's wearing some brightly coloured, horrendous, and I mean really horrendous It's the shoes. Dick and Douche show. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, John. Now, Dave, you need to make us a clip that says, hey, you are listening to, in this Dave's voice, how does Dave do it? Hi, this is Mr. Dave. You're listening to, to the, the Dick, Dick and the Douche show. show. <laughs> you need to make that clip, Dave. Do we now? Does. That would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Beautiful <laughs> barefooted Brenda. Yeah, we played Hell your Billy. tune the other night, Brenda. I know you wasn't listening. Who else we got in here that I've missed so She's far? Hello to everybody else, on. by the way. I got my nightgown on. Oh, jeez. Whew. <laughs> I'm only serious. So she says, that's my best dress with my slipper socks. That's right, Dave. Straight to the point. That's the way I like it. <laughs> Good to the point. Stop beating around the bush. So it doesn't it make is, a mess. So it's a Friday night on the Yankee and the Brit show. Randy hopefully has some tunes lined up for you. Mm. Do you? Sure. That's of course. Don't we always? Uh-uh. No rants that I can think of at the moment other than the fact that the world is pretty much stupid as fuck. Oh my god. All these guys getting blamed for sexual advances. Come on. Jesus, this shit's been going on forever. Like, sex is some kind of taboo fucking thing. God almighty, where were those people in the 70s? Most of those senators were around in the 70s. They were fucking hippies. They were probably getting laid and smoking dope, but you'll never hear about that, will you? I still don't, you know, I don't know. Fucking women coming out 30 years later and bitching. Why the fuck didn't you say something a long time ago? What the fuck you wait for? It's your own goddamn fault. You know, and I'm I'm not condoning these guys should get away with it, you know, if they even did what people say they did or if it was, you know, was it as bad as they say it was? I don't know. I'm not condoning this stuff, but it's just the idea. 30 years? Come on. That's ridiculous. That's like, that's like finding a 70-year-old man that robbed a drugstore of a candy bar 60 years ago and putting him in jail for it. Come on. God, it's over with. Get over it. Stop making a big stink out of it. And if people don't like all these guys, why don't they just vote them out? Stop voting for the same fucking people over and over. This Moore guy. Who the fuck is he? Some Alabama redneck. Vote him out if you don't like it. The women are all standing up for the guy, so obviously a good cop and a feel once in a while isn't anything. Cop a feel, I like it. I'll vote for you. Yeah, look, 38 fucking years ago. Come on. Are you serious? Jesus Christ, 38 years ago. That's total bullshit. You know, then now they're bringing up Clinton again. Oh, for crying out fucking loud. Really, people? Ain't you got better things to do? God, go tend to your garden. Grow some green beans or something. I don't give all my secrets away. Ah, oh, the 70s were great. Of course they were. Sex, free love, happiness. Of course the 70s was great. I was born... <laughs> you weren't even born till the end of the 70s. You missed still, all the good stuff. Still, you have to save the best till last. By the time you grew up and got involved, it was fucking all over with. See, Brenda knows. Dave says I was 12. <laughs> you didn't get to cop a feel, did you? Did you get to bang any of your teachers back then? No. Teachers were getting laid pretty regular, too. Can you imagine bastards. Dave when he was 12 years old? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Not Dave really. <laughs> no, I can't picture doesn't, that. Doesn't actually. bear thinking about, does it? It's just totally insane. I don't even understand half the shit that goes on anymore. What the fuck is Dave, wrong? Dave, you with need people? to post a picture 
of when you was once upon a time young and good looking, if you ever was. Who, Dave? I was born, Thomas says, well, yeah, Dave needs to post a picture when he was young. Dave, uh, Thomas, I was born in 79. I was born at the very end of the year, they save the best or last. And then they broke the mold when they made me, of course. I would love to see uh, a picture of a young Dave. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. What is all that noise? I know. We've got a bit of a... Where's it coming coming from? I don't know. Listen. What the hell is this microphone picking up now? It sounds like a wind. Maybe it's the wind from outside. This thing's pretty sensitive. Maybe it's Alfred snoring. That's why I'm afraid to fart while we're on the show, man. Everybody will hear it. Why be afraid to fart on the show? That's your job. You're the shithead. You fart. <laughs> I love to fart. It's one of my favourite pastimes is farting. Mm. Doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, uh. what is everybody doing with their weekend? Is everybody going to be jamming, tuning in tomorrow night for the Country Saturday Night? I do believe that we have a guest tomorrow, but he's not got back to us, uh, so I really don't know what's happening with him. So... I know, and I've, uh, I have didn't do a poster or anything because we haven't heard from the guys, so as far as I'm concerned, you know, he's not coming, so that's the end of that. All right, let's move on. And Thomas, bit. Thomas, your shirts have been designed by my very own fair hands, haven't they? Mm. I sat, I sat mm. there this afternoon and designed some Yankee and the Brit Show shirts hey, look pretty cool. for Thomas and his good lady. Look, Thomas graduated in 79. Brenda and I, I know I did, 76, I don't know if Brenda was held back 10 years or what. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really. I think you were held back 10 years. Ah, whatever, shut up. Okay, let's move on over here. That noise is bugging me. It is the wind outside. Stacy said it sounds like popcorn. Popcorn, that's me farting. <laughs> That's us. Between between us, you could make a whole song out of us farting. If I'm not farting, he's farting. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, and if it's not us, it's the dog. The dog. Speaking of the radio hound, hey, good looking. There he is. Hi, Al. What's up? How are you? Hey. You all right? No, you can't have them. Guess who wants to go out? All right, better put on a tune over here. Well, nice to have you guys with us. Thank you, everybody else, for joining in tonight. Rock and roll Friday night. Let's rock into the night. 38 special. We're into that next bar. Oh, what a walk. Oh, you got a giggle in your talk and a wiggle in your walk. Oh, Hello. That's the way we rock it on a Friday night. Rock and with a Yankee and a Brit. And, uh, 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 uh. and her over there. The Brit. That's you. Hello. Good evening. How are you, love? I said, how are you, love? Starting to... Wind Uh-oh. down. <laughs> Don't go anywhere yet. We're still having fun. Lots of rock going on. Yeah, I think I'm just going to be listening for the most of the night. Do you guys like movies? A lot of you guys go to movies anymore? Do people still go to movies? I mean, can you stand to spend that much money on a friggin' movie? Man, I just... I can't do it. Not after the last one we went to. What was that? It was friggin' ridiculous. 25 or $30? Yeah, Geostorm we went to see. Five buck or yeah, was it five dollars for a soda? Yeah, pretty much. Fucking out of their minds, man. Anyways, did you see Justice League yet? It came out today. Anybody go out earlier today and watch that yet? I know it just came out, but um, I'm waiting to see it. I was reading some reviews on it. It's like you know they've been building up to it. Oh, it's gonna be a great movie. Oh, it's gonna be a great movie. I oh, it's gonna be so fantastic. Not today. I see reviews. People were knocking it and beating it up. Oh, it's no, I don't like it. It's not what it was supposed to be. And blah blah blah. Anybody ever fucking happy with just what you get? A movie, to me, involves your imagination. You have to, like, immerse yourself into this thing. Go there and be part of it. You know, don't sit there and pick it apart. Don't, you know, belittle the thing because it's not what you expect. Make it what it is. Enjoy it. Let yourself go. Fantasize. You remember how to fantasize? Remember when you were really young, a teenager, and you fantasized about getting laid or... Or, you know, whatever. You fantasize about having a brand new car. Oh, I'm going to get my license pretty soon. I'm going to have a brand new car. I'm going to buy a Porsche. You ended up with a Volkswagen your dad bought you for 50 bucks from the neighbor. Movies are about, you know, imagination. Immerse yourself into it. Like when I watched Wonder Woman. 
Of course none of that shit's real. You know that. But, man, put yourself in there, man. She kicked some friggin' German ass. I loved it. I let it happen. I got into it. Sit back. Be a kid for a little while, man. But these people are beating up all these movies and stuff. How do you... Know? And how does anybody... So many people rely on all these critics and what they say. Well, he said it's not a good movie, so I'm not going to go watch it. Really. Donna and I have been... What did we just watch the other night? Last night we watched him. What the hell was that? God, I can't even remember already. It was that good. I just can't remember it. <laughs> it, was it was an older movie. It was something from 2013 with Brad Pitt. What was it? War? Oh, World War Z. I thought it was pretty damn cool, actually. It was pretty intense in a couple of places. I don't know why I never heard anything about it. I never heard anybody really raving about the thing, but I thought it was pretty badass, man. Pretty cool movie. And you can watch all kinds of movies online for free. You don't have to go to the theater. Why go to the theater and spend all that money? You can sit home, you know, especially if you have a great big, go buy, you know, like a 60-inch TV mounted on the wall and plug your computer into it. You can watch YouTube videos. You don't need to pay for cable channels and music channels and all that shit. You can hook your computer up, your laptop or whatever, set it up there, find a great movie online to watch and turn it on, especially if you got good internet. Get a great connection, man. You're golden. And a lot of them are in HD. We watch a lot of them in HD, and my screen is bigger than Donna's laptop, and we love it. And I'm fixing to put this... It's only a 17-inch, but I'm fixing to put this thing in there for the TV because the TV sucks. <laughs> and buy me a nice big 30-inch uh, monitor that'll fill up this whole space in front of the window. Yeah, why don't you fill up more of the window? Hey, who wants the window? Then we won't need? be able to see anything. Yay! Oh, you know what? Screw those squirrels and the roadrunners <laughs> and the deer and the uh, bobcat that went by and the rabbits and all them cool animals out there. Hell with them. Let's watch a yeah, movie. Yeah, we don't need to see them. We just need to see a big giant know, right? screen. See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you say it, we play it. Check this out. I think Brenda mentioned Bad Company. Rock steady. Yankee and a Brit. The Rock and Roll Friday night. How Nugent Stranglehold. Sometimes I feel like well, doing that to said. you. <laughs> <laughs> what you feel like it to me you wouldn't dream of it husband mm, not me never <laughs> I just love you too much so I was wondering guys would you like us to do a show on Thanksgiving day if you guys are not up to much on that Thursday let us know and we will do a show we've not got money plans I don't Dave is painting what Dave is doing work I don't believe that he's, prob he's probably supervising Mrs. I'd Dave I'd say he's she's probably, probably up there. a ladder and he's sat there perving I wish I had my uh whip sound effect loaded up over I was uh, the reason I asked whether you were still here Dave was just I was just about to ask you did you get your sign all right but I've just checked the tracking and it says it doesn't it has no expected delivery time in transit date. in transit now what do you say a, about Chicago it Heights? says it's in Chicago Heights right now so it but probably I clicked be, on the tracking it'll be another well it won't be tomorrow I don't think maybe but either way it I almost guarantee you it's going to get to Ohio and it's going to sit there because it's going to get on another truck to get delivered. It's still going to be Tuesday probably. Uh, Anyways, what fucking I know they did say you'd have it by Saturday, didn't they? And if you say anything, oh my God, they'll fucking scream that, wow, it's Christmas time. I don't give a shit what fucking day it is. You've got a job to do. I paid well, you all this fucking money. To have it Ship the goddamn now, after thing. After all that hoo-ha. Thanksgiving, we are serving the drivers from the bar. How cool is that? Hey, Dave... Damn it. <clears throat> Damn it, Dave. I want you to go in a nice, quiet place with your phone and record us a little promo for that. Could you do that for us? That uh, Inviting all the truck drivers to uh, to come to the bar for something to munch on? Please do that for us. Make it nice. You do cool promos. You can do that. You sound as good as your dad. Dave doesn't well, do almost. cool promos. He just pretends he does. There's nothing better than a good dick job. I, uh, I have to agree. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Stacy, chop chop fuckers. <laughs> oh, very good. See chop now, chop look, fuckers. See now, look, she's learning her English. She's learning her British there. Chop, is that chop. what it is? Yeah, now you've got to clap your hands and say chop chop fuckers. Chop chop fuckers. You'll hurry now. Donna went and had, uh, we went out to a Chinese restaurant yesterday and uh, the menu was, just couldn't decide on anything so we ordered this the old standby Donna got her come of some young guy and I ordered come of some young gal and we both uh, enjoyed our meals yeah Ran Randy says uh, I love some gulp some cum and then he choked on it 
<laughs> That's pretty sad. Yeah, please. Uh, be nice if we had one for tomorrow night. <clears throat> Country night. Uh, it's a good night. The yeah, Evan do one that says, You're tuned in to the glamorous, glamorous douchebag and the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is serious now. I am glamorous. I know you were serious. I'm glamorous no, behind this microphone. Nobody can see that I'm sat here scratching my vagina and um, flicking my crabs away. And <laughs> Exactly, nobody can see what I'm doing. So according to these guys, nobody I'm can hear it. I'm glamorous. <laughs> 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 One just landed in your cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're such a twat old. <laughs> Anything new from England? Any good word from over there? Bollocks! You could play them the so- you could play them the bollocks song by Hail and Pace. I don't have to find it. I'm still again. We're still sorting files, so it might be a while before we have some of that stuff. We'll get it. All right then. Well, moving right along over here then. Uh, here's a tune I think Mr. Dave will enjoy while he's over there uh, stroking his brush. Go ahead, make my day. A bit those fannies on the shake over there. Gotta love that. Thomas said he just got. The Look by Sharon. I think he must have been jamming a little bit too hard over there. And I was only saying to Randy, oh, was I not saying this to you this morning? You the poor were. Sharon, who <laughs> we feel bad for her because <laughs> she's always subjected to the Yankee and the Brit show every Friday and Saturday night and then some because she's got uh, she's got Thomas with his guitar out. I uh, know. I told the Brit, I, I told the Brit, I said, that's no different than me getting on one of those jam nights where you just can't stop me. And every time you interrupt me, I get pissed off because I'm just into the musical. Over there. Leave me alone while I'm rocking and rolling over here. Hey, look, look, Joyce is there. Look, Joyce Edwards is in the chat room. Hello, Joyce. How hey. are you, love? Nice to see you. Such a pretty smiling face over there. Smiley, smiley. How's everybody else doing? Friday night, rock and roll, Thanksgiving next weekend. Boy, wow. Holidays are upon us. Are you ready for Black Friday? Go out and waste all your money on stupid shit that's made in Japan that'll uh, fall apart. By the Ready end of January, <laughs> he'll never make it next Christmas. That's for sure. Yes, that's me, Mister Negativity. But that's all right. The truth is the truth. It shall prevail. As you can see, it is with all those senators getting in trouble. Anyways, another story there. I'm not talking about that again. We are here. We are rocking and rolling. Donna and I decided. Donna more or less decided that. Uh, we should do a tune for you guys, and it's one we haven't done in a while. We need to get some rock into our system, so... Uh, it's just for Dave, really, because Dave loves this yeah, song. Yeah, because we know how much Dave hates this <laughs> song. <laughs> but this will make him get some serious painting done over there. Yankee the Brit, the RTM Radio Network, rocking it away on a Friday night. You're listening to the Yankee and the Brit on the RTM Radio Network. Don't make me say it again. We're about to let it rip. If you see a faded sun at the side of the road that says 15 miles to the... Love Shack! Love Shack, yeah, yeah. I'm heading down the Atlanta highway. Looking for love, get away. Headed for love, yeah. I got me a car. As big as a whale and we're heading on down to the love shack. I got me a Chrysler and it seats about 20, so come on and bring your jukebox money.
Yankee and the Brit for you right there. Donna and myself, Love Shack. Boy, we had a blast doing that. Yes, we did. I know. I still like the jam to that tune. What a lot of fun that was. RTM Radio I Network know, we, over we here. Still, Friday night rocking away. I said, we still get no one would piss Dave off. We thought, we'll just <laughs> make it those few decibels a bit louder and uh, Dave will get well annoyed with it. I know, but we had so much fun and it was worth yes. irritating anybody with it. It is. That's it what is. I liked about it. We need another fun tune to sing, don't we? Yeah, we got we've done some pretty fun. Hey, ones. load of that Green Acres one. That was pretty fun, wasn't That's it? That's country night. That's tomorrow night. Country night tomorrow night. We're supposed to have a guest, but we haven't heard from him. So at this point, I don't know what's up. We'll see if he's here or not. I didn't create a poster for it though, so all you get is word of mouth at the moment, and it'll happen to be from my mouth. Sorry, but you'll have that. <laughs> By request out of the chat room. By the way, if you got a request, no matter where you are, whether you're in the chat or out just jamming along, cruising down the highway, uh, putting up the Christmas tree, or stuffing the turkey, or maybe even preparing the turkey for dinner, depends on uh, what kind of a pervert you are, uh, let us know. You can always get a hold of us, Yankee yeah, and the Brit, on Facebook. And you can uh, put a request right in there if you like, or if you're uh, hooked up to us on Facebook, send a request over that way. Whatever you want. Uh, we like to do it. Truck and music, you name it. We're into all that stuff, man. Rock night is tonight, of course. Country night is Saturday night. Then through the week, once in a while, we jump in here with something a little different. Oh, yes, and we have something special to play tomorrow from Stacy. <laughs> we did uh, Golden Oldies there Wednesday night uh, by request from John Chico. So we took care of that. Chico, sorry. <laughs> One of these days I'll remember Mr. that. G Echo, G Echo. Yeah, that's it. Him too. But uh, nice to have all you guys uh, hanging out with us tonight, man. Rock and roll night Friday. Let's get carrying on here. By request out of the chat room from Stacy 
Smoke on the water. Deep Purple. Yes, sir. Classic rock and roll. Oh, yeah, Def Leppard and Armageddon it. I'm a getting it. Are you a getting it? I don't know if we's all a getting it or not. Yankee and the Brit rocking away the night on a Friday night. 7 to 10 every Friday night. Rock and roll Saturday night. 7 to 10 country music. And, of course, tomorrow night is country night. Thomas uh, in the chat says uh, he's going to clean up, turn the lights out, clean up all the old uh, red solo cups and put everything away. That's your job. Good job, Thomas. Good job. Well done, old chap. Jolly good. Thank you very and, uh, much. And boot out that guy that's fell asleep at the back of the chat room. I think he's had a bit too much booze. Yeah, if he's uh, if he's uh, passed out, just leave him there. Um, if he's like in and out, drag him over to the door and give him a swift boot. That'll solve that problem. We're almost done. Just about time to get out of here. Another song or so, and we're gonna walk away. You guys have been great, man. Love having you come by on a Friday night. Bring your requests. That's what we do, man. We've been hammering the requests out over here all night long. Off the hotline, from the chat line, out of the chat. They're just coming in from everywhere. And we love it. Basically, you guys are too cool. Come on back tomorrow night for Country Night. In the meantime, one more tune for the road. Across the country, over the sea, and around the globe. It's the Yankee and the Brit with Brandy and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. Yankee and the Brits, the place to be. Radio living is the life for me. Airwaves spreading out so far and wide. Keep your FM, just give me that internet side. Online is where I'd rather stay. I've got a lot of music to play. I just adore a Yankee view. Darling, I love you, but give me a show to do. The chap. The brats. On air. That's fair. You are my wife. Goodbye, British life. The Yankee and the Brit on air.